pessoal do Stocky em Whistler, no Canadá, na Colômbia Britânica, num dos paraísos do mountain bike mundial. Eu tenho o prazer de pegar minha nova bike, toda equipada com Shimano Sight 2013, uma Lapierre Team Frog, desenvolvida nada mais nada menos do que por Nicola Vuillot. E muito obrigado pela galera da loja Fanatical aqui em Whistler. Thank you, Carl. Very well. It was uh, a couple of us, uh, Kevin and I, we started out, uh, we both worked at a different shop and we decided we needed to go out on our own and do our own thing, focus a little bit more on the downhill side of mountain biking. So 1996 we found ourselves a new location and we started to uh, ride downhill bikes. We, we had this much equipment when we started. We used to race downhill with uh, With, with our local newspaper underneath our spandex for armor. <laughs> There was no armor back then. I've been living in Whistler for all 20, 21 years now. Um, never intended to come here for that long. It was supposed to be only for six months, but just like so many other people, Once you're here and stay here for a little bit, you fall in love with the place and it's very difficult to leave. Been riding mountain bikes and since as long as I can remember. Been fixing mountain bikes for probably close to 25, almost 30 years now. Sometimes I think that um, fixing bikes is just as fun as riding them. We've all been riding together for uh, about 15 years. Uh, the first day I came to Whistler, I walked into a shop that Scott and Kevin, my partners, are working for, and and I was a uh, full full greenback out, out from Ontario, and uh, they took me under their wing and kind of showed me the way out west, and and that's kind of where it started. And it's it's great to to uh, still be hanging out with my friends and, and riding and ripping and, and having a good time. we needed to have some rental bikes and we started off with uh, with one of our partners Norco mountain bikes and we had the first downhill mountain bike fleet in North America probably the world at that point we had uh, re-outfitted all the bikes with Marzocchi uh, Z1 bombers and this was this was unheard of at the time <laughs> and we rented these bikes out people thought we were crazy but we seemed to be on to something years later here we are now We're still working with our partner Norco, and we're working with, a, with another very important partner, Shimano. We have been renting high-end, high-performance bikes since 1996 uh, for the downhill park, but uh, we, we wanted to have uh, the best equipment possible on the bikes, so we decided that we would uh, try and find some manufacturers to work with and Shimano had just launched their their first Saint Grupo, the M800 Grupo, as their first heavy duty free ride group and they had done some research in Vancouver and designed it for the North Shore riding and uh, it fit really well with what we were doing at the same time. So we uh, approached Shimano and, and talked to them about working with them as far as product development and running the product on our bikes and and uh, giving the feedback to the, what our experiences were and improvements that were possible and, and that's uh, where it all started. And we're now on our third, third generation of Saint Pollock that, uh, that was just launched uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, at this point here, 
in 2012, we've already got the 2013 Shimano Saint components on a great deal of our rental bikes. So the public can actually go and try next year's equipment in 2012. So Shimano has, uh, obviously, they're, they're a group of, of riders, uh, a lot of World Cup and free riders, and uh, they all have their unique experiences and, uh, and an ability to give feedback on, on their products. Um, but we, we offer a little bit of a different side of the, the product development side than the, than the pro riders or World Cup riders. You know, the, most of them are concerned more about the performance. Um, we're concerned about performance, but we're also a lot more concerned about um, does, the, does the product live up to a, the realistic expectations of in a, in a real world situation as opposed to a World Cup team or a factory bike that is maintained uh, with, you know, sole focus on, on performance and winning races. Um, and we want making sure that the, the average consumer who's buying the product is going to be getting good value and, and getting the performance that they need out of the product. We have a rental store that rents out 25 downhill bikes. And these bikes get put through the works over the course of a, a season in Whistler back home here. Uh, some of these bikes are doing more than a million vertical feet per year. And for Shimano, it's, it's, a, it's a very important case because the people that are riding these bikes are normal public people. They're not World Cup racers. They're uh, just normal moms and dads and brothers and sisters and cool people and everybody else. and have that input, but what we have is seasons of hard, hard miles on these parts in three to four months. So it's a perfect testing ground to test their stuff as far as durability is concerned. And we've been very, very lucky with it. We don't, uh, we don't go through a lot of stuff. It's, uh, it's tested very, very well over the years. And they've just sort of each and every, you know, every couple of years, they just make, they don't make huge changes, they make just subtle changes so they don't compromise the quality, but they're still progressing in a quality product. You know, it's really hard to tell what, uh, what the feature's going to hold. Like we've already seen so many developments and, uh, and refinements in, in, uh, in, in parts um, over such a short period of time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's almost uh, exciting to, to think of what's going to be next. Um, I think shifting, um, is, uh, shifting in derailers is, uh, is one area you might see a lot of refinements and changes. Um, parts are getting lighter weight and one important thing is they're getting more accessible. Uh, parts are, are you know, the, the best technology, the lightest parts, the best brakes. All of that's trickling down into, into more and more affordable groups. Um, you know, we've, we've seen a lot that the price of bikes haven't really changed that much. You know, it's uh, for, for the same money that you spent 10 years ago, you're getting 10 times the bike. We get a lot of people exposed to the Shimano product, and we give Shimano a whole lot of really great feedback on how the equipment performs and how durable it is, which I have to say is fantastically durable. I've been on Shimano product pretty much my whole career. I raced on the Shimano product through different, various different teams that I was on. I've ridden for Shimano for uh, over 10 years now, um, before the first Saint came out. Well, Shimano told us that they were going to um, make this gravity specific group and Obviously the first thing we asked for uh, was something really, really burly and strong because at the time we were, we were uh, breaking a lot of bike parts. Initially the group that, the, that first group was really about free ride and big mountain and burly and durability and strength. And now as it's progressed and the riding's progressed, that Grupo has become more of, the most recent Grupo is really more of a, it's a race Grupo, 
but it has all of the characteristics that you'd want from riding in the park to doing big mountain stuff to anything. It's, you know, it's all that. It's light, it's precise. Any rider really wants to have a light bike, as light as possible, that's strong and, and precise again, everything to be dialed. So this most recent Saint Grupo is really kind of crossed both genres, I guess, of the DH world and then the free ride world.